Is it Philip Rivers' time to win a Super Bowl? What's crack -a It's your boy, Bro Schmo, just in case you did not know. So today we talk about the, not the San Diego, the Los Angeles Superchargers. And have they done enough to get back into the playoffs and get into that Super Bowl contention? Well, before we dive in, give me a subscribe and a like if you enjoy the content and only if and always be active in the comments because it's fun man it's fun talking about football it's some great stuff but let's go ahead let's dive in philip rivers will we finally get that super bowl ring even if he goes down he has got a he's got he's got he's got a good backup in uh tyrod taylor a guy that can win games um as far as air parents you got uh eason stick um yeah 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 he's a developmental quarterback at best but the team has weapons. Melvin Gordon is there, and even not, even if he's not, Austin Eckler is a very good backup running back. Uh, Justin, Justin uh, Jackson, there we go. Ooh, name escaped me. Justin Jackson provides some depth there as well. Then Hunter Henry comes back, and if he is healthy, this is provides a great weapon for Phillip Rivers. Virgil Green's there as well, backing him up. Um, again, some good depth there, receiver. Wish there could be a little more depth, but Keenan Allen, Mike Williams will be a very dangerous duo. Travis Benjamin's there in the slot. He's a very reliable slot receiver. But let's go ahead. Let's look at the offensive line, which may be the Achilles heel to this team because Russell Okun is a solid veteran. He's a solid veteran, but they don't have many. They don't have much depth at tackle. I mean, Trey Pipkins, that's why they drafted this guy. Ideally, I think he will eventually start on the right line. You got Sam Levi there. But, eh, Dan Feeney, um, honestly, with him and Force Lamp, you just don't know what you got at guard. They they addressed guard a couple of years ago um, heavily, and they just, these guys haven't been healthy to really, hey, can, well, can these guys be starters in the future? We haven't been able to see that. Um, you got a reliable center in Mark Pouncey, and Michael Schofield is, again, reliable. So this team, honestly, offensive line, not that it's not, a, it's not like it's going to be a liability. Um, I think they could probably get better, especially at the tackle position. But I think for now, this it's good enough. Go ahead. Let's take a look at the defense because, honestly, the defense made the biggest upgrades this year. And I think that, well, through the draft, they did. Joey Bosa, Melvin Ingram, terrifying pass rush dude, maybe the best in the league. Uh, Brandon uh, Membane, he's he's been a solid um, interior defensive lineman over the course of his career, but they added Jerry Tillery, who I think will be a monster. This line is dangerous. Don't sleep on this line. Now, where they could stand to get a, a little more depth, especially at the uh, end position. But this is a good looking line going into the year. Uh, even linebacker has some depth. They don't really have any uh, playmakers at linebacker. But Denzel Perryman's a very good inside linebacker. Thomas Davis provides a good veteran leadership. And then you also got guys like uh, Kaiser White, um, Uchina uh, Iwosu, and uh, Jatavius Brown, who played very well last year it provides a lot of depth there at linebacker and the secondary i think is going to be i mean this defense is very good and i mean very good is even an understatement casey hayward's one of the best zone corners in the league desmond keen is very good at guarding the slot he's very good there in the nickel trevor williams very nice uh as well and then they add i mean derwin james was a monster last year they could put him anywhere and then with adrian phillips there provides some good depth because Nasir Adderley I think was a monster pickup in the draft the man can fly he might whiff on some tackles but he is a true center field um player for this team he's going to be a playmaker he's going to provide a lot of turnovers I think um in the secondary there so the defense looks very good this is going to be a very good Chargers team they are going to make a run in the Super Bowl but they have a very difficult schedule. Let's go ahead and take a look because they're playing the AFC South and they're playing the NFC North. I mean, the Vikings, Bears, and uh, Packers, those are going to be tough games. 
go along with Texans, Titans, and the, uh, I don't want to say Jaguars, but that's Nick Foles' Jaguars. Then you also got the Colts, who came out and just balled last year. This is a tough schedule on top of facing the Chiefs twice a year, and we don't know what Oakland's going to be. This That might be a very competitive team in Oakland. And then you can't sleep on Joe Flacco there in Denver. I mean, overall, and I mean, luckily, the game, you have a lot of quality home games. You got a good home field advantage uh, against, like, the Vikings. You got home games against Packers, Steelers. Oh, gosh, Steelers, I can't, that's going to be gonna be a tough game. Depends, I guess, which Steelers team you're going to be seeing. But uh, Texans and the Colts, so you got good home game or you got a good home game advantage on a few of these tougher opponents which i think will which should play to the chargers benefit with that being said this is at least a 10 win team easily i got them going 12 and 4 um we will see this chargers team in the playoffs how far they go we'll see hopefully they don't have to face new england again right <laughs> but that's it for the video do the whole YouTube stuff. It's always much appreciated. Go ahead. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. But until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.